Hi, so just a quick video to demonstrate the uh, U300 ultrasonic sensor here from Bauma. So it's a miniaturized body. You can see the ultrasonic element there. So yeah, just a quick video to demonstrate the capabilities and the ease of setup and the IO link uh, features and how to set up the analog distance and also the physical switch of the sensor there. So it has Q-Teach on the back. Uh, also, you've got, of course, uh, external teach, analog output, and a push-pull output switch on there. So you can see here now, I've got our U300 uh, sensor here, mounted around 270 mil or so away from our target. I've got it hooked up to our wireless sense control master, allowing me to parameterize and view uh, the information coming out of the sensor via our sense control app. So the sensor has a working range out of the box from 15 to 500 mil. As I said, I've got it set up around the 270 mil mark, and you can see here it's reading 272.5 or sorry, 0.6 uh, millimeters away from the target. Now, if I move the target closer to the sensor or moving the sensor, you'll see that the number starts to reduce in a linear manner all the way down. You see where I have it around the 47 mil mark. So the sensor is an industry leading um, small dead zone. So if I now show you as I move a card in closer, I can get down to 15 mil and you see how it errors out there. So 15 mil as the dead zone. So 16 mil, 15 mil, and then errors out. So a very small dead zone all the way up, back again. If I move it back to well over 500 mil and you've got your analog output over that range. There you go. So via the uh, Sense Control app, you can easily set up the uh, analog output and also the digital output uh, via our Link Master or via this wireless master. So we go to device settings, go to the uh, switch point configuration, let's say, and um, you can change the logic from normally open to normally closed. Uh, also, whether you want it to be a single point distance switch or whether you want it to be a window switch, we'll keep it a single switch just for ease. And you can set the set point of where we want it to switch. So say for our example, let's change it to 200 mil. and apply. So that's now been sent to the sensor. We can also set the um, analog output. So if you go to the input output settings, the analog output, you can set the distance for the minimum analog and what you want that to be, either zero volts or any volt combination that you want. We'll keep it at zero volts and of course you can set the maximum distance. So if we're only measuring over 200 mil, let's have the analog set to only 200 mil. And apply. And of course you can set what you want the uh, analog maximum to be. Do you want it to be the 10 volts, which it is straight out of the box, or do you want it to be five volts, for example? which you can do, or you can keep it as the factory 10 volts. Okay, so let's go back to process data here. So now to perform the test with the uh, set point now in place, this is the uh, output here and this is the distance. So we're outside of the 200 mil set point that we set, so the output is false. If I now move the sensor within that 200 mil now, so getting close there, 
you see the output goes true all the way inside 200 mil if i now go above 200 mil again the output switches to false so that's your on off switch in terms of distance go so the capabilities of course of ultrasonic sensors allows us to do uh, tricky applications like level applications uh, where the media may be uh, transparent or liquid where other detection methods like laser method don't really work so well well so you can see here the sensor is mounted around 243 mil from the base of the glass and if i now start to fill you'll see that the fill level um, will also um, show the measurement there so it will decrease I set our set point at uh, 200 mil. So when it reaches that, that will go from false to true also. So without knocking it, I'll try and fill the glass. You can see once we've gone over that 200 mil, the output has gone to true and we've got our measurement there, 157 mil or so. I'll start to decrease. And you get a nice smooth fill level measurement. With a nice analog output as well, scaled over the region of interest. Just to show on a uh, clear type packaging, for example, a tray or food packet tray, you can see I introduced that into the beam. I'm under that 200, uh, sorry, I'm over 200 mil away, so the output is false. If I increase the distance you see the output goes true all the way up to the dead zone and back down again so just to summarize Baumer's uh, u300 uh, distance and analog output and switching sensor here the u300 with iolink features is a great little miniaturized ultrasonic sensor perfect for packaging machine applications, filling applications, or just general sensing of targets where ultrasonic is the best solution. So a nice form for all size. Uh, you've got your outputs, uh, physical uh, LED outputs on the top there. You've got your Q-teach area on the back there. And also that's the sensing element just there.